What's up, everybody? Man, it's Monday morning, man. I hope y'all back at it, going to go get it, man. I hope you ain't in bed still, man. I was gonna go take a run, but it's a little sprinkly out here, man. But I'm still, I'm, I'm gonna wait till this stops, so I might take me a little afternoon stroll around the lake. I'm gonna go inside and do my burpees right now, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to give a little advice to my up and coming rappers right now, man, because I, I see a lot of rappers out there making the same mistakes I made when I was young. It's trying to keep it real with the streets. And I understand you want to keep it real with the streets and keep it real with your hood. And you don't want people in back in your hood saying, man, he changed, he switched up on us. He ain't the same. At the end of the day, man, if the shoe was on the other foot and anybody from your neighborhood had the opportunity that you got, they would take it in a heartbeat, man. They're going to talk about you regardless. You know what I'm saying? You can't put everybody on. So the ones that you can't put on, they gonna talk about you anyway. Do you wanna take this opportunity that you got and really make some of yourself and really make some legit money and some legal money and be able to take your family out the hood and be able to, you know what I'm saying, live around nice houses and drive nice cars and stuff, man? Or are you just hustling for a slab on swingers and a big gold chain? Cause this dude's in the hood that still got that. It ain't hard to come by that. This dude's still in the hood right now that got that. So what are your goals, man? What are you really trying to get out of life, man? It's a whole bunch of rappers that done ended up in prison for trying to keep it real with they hood and they click and they set. You know what I'm saying? When they really could have took that opportunity they had and made some of their life and took their family out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's that blessed to have a God-given talent to make some legitimate money. You know what I'm saying? So if you do find yourself in that position, don't take advantage of it, man. Cause it'll slip right between your fingertips. You'll be end up in a cell. And them same dudes that you was worried about talking about you not keeping it real with the hood, they ain't gonna be there for you, man. They ain't gonna be there for you. You gotta separate yourself from them negative environments and really be about your business, man. I used to be the same way, man. Taking all my homeboys out to the club, throwing money in the club, regular club, strip club, all that. You know what I'm saying? I did all that trying to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was the one with the bankroll and then my partners was just friends that I grew up with, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like it was my obligation to take care of them just cause they was my homies, you know what I'm saying? But living that life right there, you'll still stay stuck in the streets. You'll still stuck in this, you'll still stay in that same street mentality and you won't get nowhere like that. You end up running through your money and then when the money's gone, your homies gonna be gone anyway. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll realize that they was only there for the money and the fame. And then when you bounce back and you get it again and you leave all them homies alone and you start doing for yourself and take care of yourself, that's when they're gonna say you changed. But really you changed for the better.